I've read that you should spend your money on experiences rather than on stuff. Uh, why is that? And can you give an example of it in practical terms? Yeah. So, so this is another really robust finding. And I think another thing we get wrong, you know, we think, you know, material possession, if I buy a nice new car, a nice jacket, like that's going to stick around for a long time. You know, that's a good investment, right? It's going to make me feel happier. Um, but the data actually suggests just the opposite. Things that stick around are things that we get used to. You know, why wasn't I joyous every time I walked into that coffee shop? It was because I get to do it every day. You know, why am I not joyous every time I pick up my miracle of an iPhone? Because it's been around for a while. You know, I've kind of gotten bored with it. Um, experiences, in contrast, don't have that feature. Um, they tend to be, they tend not to last very long, especially if my income, the experiences I buy that are awesome are like kind of short lived, my vacations and things like that. But that's a good feature because it means we, they don't last long enough for us to get used to them. Um, a second feature of experiences that seem to make them better than material possessions is that they connect us with other people. Like we often do experiences with other people, but even when we do experiences solo, it like gives us something to talk about to other people. You know, if I were to start telling Carl about like my last vacation and how it was, like we could have an interesting conversation about that. But if I started telling Carl about like the latest pair of shoes I bought, like he'd probably get bored really fast. And there's evidence to suggest that when you talk about your material possessions, people kind of think you're a jerk. And so experiences also do this interesting thing where they connect us with other people in a way that material possessions don't. Now, I think implicit in that question might be, you know, this is another thing we're taking a hit on. You know, those of us who get joy out of our experiences, going to a live concert, going on vacation and so on, like we're not doing that as much right now. Um, but another nice feature of our psychology is that we get, it turns out, as much joy out of having the experience as we also do out of anticipating the experience. So people who like buy a vacation in advance or purchase concert ticket in advance, you kind of get excited and you get utility and reward out of thinking about what that's going to be like. It's why people like read, you know, restaurant reviews and this kind of thing ahead of time. And so this is what I've been comforting myself with is even if I'm not going to like take a vacation home, I'm like going on Airbnb of like, you know, when things are better, this is the place I'm going to and it's going to be awesome. And, and it feels silly that that should work, but the data suggests it actually can.